Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at the effect of frequency on kinetic energy and photo emission. So let's get started. So here we're going to look at the effect of changing frequency on the kinetic energy of an ejected photoelectron and on photo emission. So it starts by saying that for frequencies greater than or equal to the threshold frequency, if the frequency of the instant light is increased, then the maximum kinetic energy of an emitted photoelectron also increases. So by increasing the frequency of the instant photons, then the maximum kinetic energy that the electrons will have when they're ejected from the metal surface will be greater. And because we have an equation that relates kinetic energy and speed, ek equals a half mv squared, that means the kinetic energy is directly proportional to the speed squared. So if maximum kinetic energy increases, then the speed of the ejected electrons must also increase. So it says if the frequency of the instant light is increased, then the maximum speed of an emitted photoelectron increases. And lastly, if the frequency of the instant light is increased, the number of photoelectrons emitted each second, which we call the photoelectric current, remains the same. So remember, a flow of electrons can be called a current, so that's why we can call it the photoelectric current here, and we see that this is not changed with frequency. So increasing the frequency of the instant light causes maximum kinetic energy and maximum speed to increase, but it has no effect on the number of photoelectrons emitted each second from the metal surface. It then says to note that below the threshold frequency, no photoelectrons will be emitted from the surface, hence the gap in the first graph below. So if we plot kinetic energy of the photoelectrons against frequency, you'll see that we get this gap between the origin and the threshold frequency. And this is because below the threshold frequency, we're saying that no photoelectrons are emitted from the metal surface. Therefore, the kinetic energy of the electrons will be zero below this threshold frequency. And then at the threshold frequency F0 and above, we get this linear relationship. So we can see that as frequency increases, the kinetic energy of the ejected photoelectrons increases as well. We also have this graph showing what happens to the photoelectric current against frequency. So we've said above that as frequency of the instant photons increases, that the photoelectric current will stay the same, i.e. the number of photoelectrons emitted from the surface each second. And it's worth remembering these three important results. Now I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you visualise how we got this first graph. So you can see here we've got two parallel metal plates, we've then got a battery and we've got an ammeter to tell us what the current is in the circuit. And we're using zinc for a metal and we've also got a lamp here which is shining light in the form of instant photons on this zinc surface. So this is our metal plate that we're trying to eject electrons from. And here we're going to look at what happens when we increase the frequency of the light. So we're going to keep the intensity at a maximum 100% here. We're not going to change that. And we're going to increase the frequency of the light from infrared all the way through the visible light spectrum up to ultraviolet. And if you look at the graph on the right hand side, this is going to plot the electron energy, i.e. the maximum kinetic energy of the ejected photoelectrons against frequency. So if I increase the frequency of the instant photons, which is the same as decreasing the wavelength of the light, then you'll see that right now there's no photo emission taking place, but eventually when we get into the ultraviolet region, we should start getting electrons being emitted. Now here you see there's a few being emitted and more and more being emitted, and as I keep increasing the frequency, you see that more and more electrons are being emitted each second. So there's now a large flow of electrons from the zinc surface. And now we're at the maximum frequency we can have on this simulation. And if you look at the graph here, you can see we've got this linear relationship above this threshold frequency. So if I zoom in here, you see we get this straight line relationship, but that's only happening above a minimum frequency. And you can see that's happening at about 1 times 10 to the 15 hertz here. So that would mean my threshold frequency here was 1 times 10 to the 15 hertz. So we can say that below that threshold frequency, no photo emission is taking place. But above the threshold frequency, we see that as frequency increases, the kinetic energy of the ejected photoelectrons increases as well. And another way to look at it is that the electrons are gaining speed as the frequency increases. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.